What's up YouTube, it's Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to show you how to activate or activate your iPhone 4 or your iPhone 3GS running on 5.1 if you don't have a SIM card so or you not don't have a valid SIM card so there you go, there's not a SIM in here, the, the, the tray is in there but there's no SIM in there the first thing you're going to need, no SIM, take the SIM out altogether and you're gonna need red snow so basically we're gonna jailbreak this iPhone on 5.1 to hack to, to activate it you're gonna need red snow and you're gonna need the, the version of your firmware all the links will be in the description below right next to the light button so click that light button right there and so yeah when you're stuck on this thing this screen right here after you've done everything you wanna just open up red snow oh, oh first after you download it you wanna go to properties compatibility and run as service pack 2 and run as administrator after you're done that hit apply ok and then you want to open up red snow you open it up get this screen right here you want to click on extras you want to go manually um, select your IPSW or the firmware that you downloaded wherever you downloaded just tap on that open it up hit ok depending on when your device was made uh, mine was the newer version so I hit yes then you want to go back and you want to click on jailbreak and it's jailbreaking right there just patching the kernel now and then what you want to do is install Cydia just click on install Cydia then hit next and then you want to put your device in the DFU mode so if they install Cydia, we're going to put it in DFU mode. So we're going to go home and power for 10 seconds and then the power button alone for another um, 10 seconds. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Release. One, two, three, four. Keep counting to ten, or you just wait till red snow start working. There you go. It's jailbreaking it right now. Now you're gonna see all the the, the writing start to, on your screen, all that stuff. This is all good. This is what you want to see right here. This could take a while, could take from five to ten minutes. So just be patient if you're gonna if you if you're doing this, just be very patient. Wait a little longer. I'm just gonna skip this part, I'll come back whenever I start and on a different step. Okay guys, now we're on this screen right here with a pineapple. This part could take a while as well and if you're on the, still on the other screen just wait and it will work after this we should be ready for the next step and I'll come back after this part is done okay guys now we're stuck on this screen right here with the Apple so basically we just want to back up and come to this page right here and you want to select manually select your IPSW again go to your 5.1 open okay do all the stuff you did before and done now what you want to do is let just boot tether right here just boot and then basically you want to put your device in DFU mode again so we're just gonna be home and power for 10 and then home alone for another 10 seconds so here we go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven eight and there you go 
There you go, red, red snow booting up again. So because this is a tether jailbreak, guys, every time you turn off your device, every time you reboot, you will have to come to this page and do just boot. So that's basically the difference between a tethered and untethered. Untethered, you don't need to do that. And there you go, there's the pineapple you need to see right there. But yeah, every time it does this process, turns off, reboots, you have to come to this page and activate it again. Not really activate it, just turn it on. It won't turn on. Or it might come on, but a lot of the apps won't work. So this is how you fix that. Just just boot tether again and you'll be good to go. So let's wait. And I'll come back after this Apple, after this process is done right here. You give, you could even unplug your device and your device needs to be plugged in for this whole process from beginning to end. So you can unplug it now and just wait for this to come on. I'll be back when this is done. Okay guys, now the pineapple is gone. So now we're just waiting for this to start up again. So let's wait. I won't. I'll just let this. There you go. So now it's on the setup screen, right here. So what we want to do is just do the normal slide, English, United States. Mine is already hooked up to my Wi-Fi. Hit next. Now you see bypass the whole setup screen. Now you have to just next. Skip that. Agree. And there you go, guys. Still no SIM, and now your iPhone is activated and all that stuff. I even have Cydia right there. So, yeah, guys, that's how you activate uh, iPhone 4 or iPhone 3GS without a SIM card. Rate, comment, and definitely subscribe for more videos like this. And peace. Bye.